Today, we're gonna talk about this cute fucking camera. Hey, what's going on? It's Ryan. Uh, thanks for coming to check out another video. Real quick before we get into it, if you can just subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me. And with that, let's talk a little bit about this camera that I am absolutely in love with. And I have been actually wanting to talk about for a couple of weeks now, but the film, the first couple of rolls I put through, it didn't come out too well, but I finally got some rolls back that look awesome. And I am super excited to talk about today's camera. Today, we're going to be talking about the Pentax Auto 110 film camera. It's this cute little guy right here. It is a small, super compact 110 film camera. I've had my eye on this after I saw another YouTuber actually make a video about it. And when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. As you know, I'm a big fan on portable cameras. I love my Yashica T. It's one of my newest favorite point and shoots. But when I saw this camera, I knew I had to have it because this is the type of camera you could just take literally with you all the time Put it in your pants pocket, in your jacket, in your bag, and you're always gonna have a awesome camera with you. So this camera actually takes a different type of film that I've never talked about on this channel. Usually we talk about 35 millimeter or 110 film. This actually takes 110 film. It comes in this little tiny little cartridge that I'm sure some of you have seen at some point in your life. And Lomography actually still makes the film. This is the ISO 200 film. It's called Tiger. It's a C41 color negative film. And let me tell you, the colors that come out of it are great. They look fantastic. Saturation is perfect. Color accuracy is pretty damn near perfect. And I just love it. So I actually took this camera uh, when we went to Jersey about a week or two ago. We went to uh, Patterson Falls or Patterson, New Jersey rather. There's a huge waterfall there and I just had this camera with me and figured I'd take a couple of shots with it. But let's talk a little bit about this camera first and what makes it absolutely unique. First of all, I got three lenses with it for about 120 bucks. On the camera right now, I have an actual 50 millimeter lens, but it also came with two other ones, an adorable tiny little 24 millimeter lens and a just as cute 18 millimeter lens. The 18 millimeter lens is equivalent to a 35 millimeter lens on a regular 35 millimeter camera. And there's actually an exposure meter in the camera that actually works pretty damn well. It's got two different functions and two different things to tell you about the image that you're focusing on. Green means that the shutter speed is fast enough so you won't get blurry. The ISO is right. And then the aperture, well, we don't really know what the aperture actually is, but it's going to get everything in focus. And then there's amber when the light is a little bit lower and you have the possibility of a little bit of motion blur, a little bit of shake in your photos. So just keep that in mind when you see that amber, that means there could be a little bit of blurriness, a little bit of shake in your photo, but that's it. It's all done on auto. I really didn't know what aperture we were shooting at or shutter speed. This is a fully 100% automatic camera side note also the advanced lever you actually have to pump twice it's kind of like some of those d cameras out there that you like a like a uh, Mamiya 7 you have to do a pump twice uh, a Texas Leica you have to do a pump twice I learned that the hard way I thought oh man this camera's already broken it won't take photos it will not take a photo unless you advance twice so make sure to do that
but I took this camera with me also on one of my uh, daily walks through Astoria. And uh, the thing I really enjoyed about it is was like, it really puts you in a box. I mean, this is a small camera. The lenses are good. The photos are great. They're not the sharpest and they are a little bit noisy, but you really have to be particular about what you're taking photos of. You only have 24 shots on these rolls, so you have to kind of really think about what you're gonna to wanna to take. So it kind of puts you in this box of like, okay, do I wanna take this photo or do I wanna find something a little bit more better and compose a little bit better? But the great thing is when you take a photo, you're always gonna at least 90% of the time get a good photo out of it. And besides walking around Astoria, like I said at the beginning of the video, we actually went to Patterson, Jersey last week and I took this with me. And uh, I gotta tell you, photos came out great. It was a gray overcast kind of day. So the colors came out very saturated, just like I like them, but not too saturated. That mostly has to do with the Tiger 200 Lomograph film. But this camera takes really sharp photos for what it is. Again, it's not going to be as sharp as a 35 millimeter negative or a 120 negative because these are small 110s, but it still comes out really good. One thing you should know about this film, though, is you're going to have to find someone that could develop 110 film. My local lab uh, said they can do it, but it's a little hard for them. So I actually sent it out to the darkroom.com. And once they got it, the turnaround time was about two days, which was incredible. And they did an absolutely great job. Hey, so real quick, I just wanted to interject into the video to talk really, really quick about actually the dark room, which I did mention in the video. That's where I got the 110 film developed. I actually today, while I was editing this video, got the negatives and print sheet in the mail. And I just wanted to show you really quick, like, exactly what dark rooms send to you. Uh, I think they're really awesome. They do an incredible job and they actually, what they send you is incredibly cool. So I'm just gonna show you what it is real quick and then we'll get back to the video. So this is what it comes in. It looks like kind of like what you would get when you were a younger kid, like the the what the photos would come in from the developer. And inside you have these amazing proof sheets. So these are all the photos that I took with the camera that have been developed and scanned and sent to me. I'm going to definitely be framing these and hanging these up. This is the first time I've ever gotten something like this and I absolutely love it. Additionally, this, these are the negatives that actually come from the film that I used and they send it back to you even though I've scanned it already and they've emailed it to me over they still send me this, the film back and you can actually see there is all the developed film in all of its glory. Looks awesome. And then additionally, they send you a CD with all the images on it, but I don't have a DVD player on my computer. So that's what you get. Let's get back to the video. I would take this camera around more with me, but the thing is I have to send it out to get specially developed. So it's a little bit of a hassle, but if you do use it, I definitely highly recommend the dark room. They are a little pricey, but it is worth it because of the photos and negatives you get back. So who is this camera really for? Well, it's for someone who loves cameras, good built, quality cameras with decent lenses and also someone that enjoys like miniature things and fun little cameras and novelty cameras because this is a definitely a fun novelty camera but i can absolutely see bringing this with you as your daily driver when you're walking around the city or when you're just out with friends and want to have a camera on you this is not really good for professional work. Uh, I would still use something like a Leica or a Mamiya or a Canon for some sort of professional work. This is more for like, I wanna have good quality photos in a portable form factor, but I'm not gonna be putting these up for sale or blowing these images up. But yeah, that's it. That's, that's really my quick thoughts and quick review of the Pentax Auto 110. It is a 110 
beautiful, cute, little adorable camera that takes great photos, is super portable. I love it. You're going to love it. If you have one, please let me know. Let me see the photos you're taking with it. I was using the 200 color negative tiger pack. I want to see what people are using with the other Lomography packs. Feel free to hit me up on Instagram at Ryan J. Leone and let me see what you got. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy these photos and I really do hope that you subscribe. I love meeting new people and I love it when I get new subscribers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and remember just shoot and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one and I'll see you later.